Hi, I'm Ronnie Moore with Cross Companies Process Solutions Group. Today we're going to talk about valve automation and best practices. So at this point you have a basic automated valve. You've got a valve with the pneumatic actuator mounted on it so the customer could bring two airlines in and remotely just send air to the open or close side and the valve will open or close. Uh, but today we're going to look at taking this a step further and adding a valve controller to it. Uh, so we're looking at the Stonell valve controller which has a built-in solenoid valve and it's got built-in limit switches that will show open or closed indication. Uh, this is important so the limit switches will send a signal to the user either through their DCS or it could just be lights on a panel that indicate this valve, yes, I'm fully closed or I'm fully open. Uh, this setup is only for on-off valves. There is another option, you can put a positioner on top of one of these valves and that would allow you to stop the valve at any position between open and closed. But for today, we're just looking at open and closed. The benefit of a Stonell Axiom controller is the fact that all this is built into one module that you mount on top of the, your actuator and you're bringing your airlines from the controller to the airports on the actuator. Uh, that way the customer just has one wire bundle coming in and you'll have one airline coming in. And so their signal, they're going to get their limit switch signals and their solenoid on off all through one wire bundle. So the first step is find the proper mounting kit and most of your modern actuators have what they call a Nomura mount. So the actuators are pre-drilled to accept various manufacturers mounting kits. Uh, they, everybody's kind of standardized on the same mounting dimensions. On the, on the Stonell Axiom mounting plate, it's got a plug that you can move. So if it's a spring return actuator, you'll put it inside that says SR. In our instance, our actuator is double acting, so it has to have air to open, air to close. On a spring return, you would just air to open and the springs inside the actuator would close the valve. Uh, we're using the double acting, so it's going to have air open, air closed. So you'd put your plug in. Then the next step would be to mount your indicator. So your indicator has a little serrated drive. And the check, make sure your valve, my valve is in the closed position. In this case, I'm in the open position. So we will mount that to where it's reading open. Then on top of your indicator, you've got a little magnet drive that drives the limit switches. And then your module just drops right down on top of it. Then you'll bring your airlines.
So now you've got the valve controller installed. Next, we'll be testing it. So now once, once this is installed, you want to bench test it by bringing air into the unit. Then you, we have, we've, Stonell makes a test box for the Axiom units for installers. And it simply just plugs in via this five pin connector. So now we turn power onto the limit switches and you notice the red light comes on. If the red light didn't come on or if both lights come on, you would set the closed limit switch. You simply push this button till it flashes. Then you want to apply power to the solenoid. The valve opens. You want to make sure your open limit switch is set. Test it a couple of times. And now it's completely set up, ready to go.